We've been through a lot of shapes in this unit, but there's still one more to go. Cylinders. In this lesson, we'll cover what right circular cylinders are and go through solving for the volume. A right circular cylinder, which can just be called a cylinder, is basically a rectangle rolled into a tube with circles for bases on the top and bottom and with parallel sides perpendicular to the bases, just like a can of your favorite food. The simplest type of question for cylinders on the SAT will ask for the volume. The equation for the volume of a right cylinder is volume equals area of the base times the height. Another way to express this is volume equals pi times r squared times the height. The r in this equation is the radius of the base. And good news, they give you the volume of a cylinder in the formula box at the beginning of each math section. Let's take a look at an example. To the nearest integer, what is the volume of a cylinder with a height of 10 feet and whose rectangular face has an area of 120 pi square feet? As usual, we'll underline the facts and circle the key terms. Okay, so we're looking for the volume. We know that the height is equal to 10, which we can plug into our volume formula, but we need the radius too. We aren't given the radius. Instead, we're given the area of the rectangular face. But what is a rectangular face on a cylinder? So think of the side of a cylinder as a rectangle that's rolled up to make a tube. The width of the rectangle is equal to the height of the cylinder, and its length is equal to the circumference of the base. This means we can find the length by using the formula for the circumference of a circle, which is 2 pi r. And since we know that the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width, we can say that the area of the rectangular side is 2 pi r times height. So because we know that the height is 10, our equation becomes 10 times 2 pi r. And since we're told that the area of the rectangular side is 120 pi, we can say that 120 pi is equal to 20 pi r. We want to simplify by dividing both sides by 20 times pi, and we get that 6 equals r. Okay, we're almost done. Our last step is substituting into the volume equation for a cylinder. So since volume equals pi times r squared times height, plugging our values in, we get volume equals pi times 6 squared times 10. Squaring 6 and multiplying by 10, we get that volume equals 360 pi. However, since we're trying to find the nearest integer value, we need to plug in 360 times pi into our calculator to get 1130.9. Rounding up, we find that our answer is 1,131. Now we can fill that into our grid in with the right answer. Great work. Now it's time for a pause and solve. Grab some paper and a pencil, and when I say pause, you'll pause this video and solve the problem. When you unpause the video, we'll go over it together. Here's the question. What is the surface area of a right circular cylinder with a height of 10 and a diameter of 6? The answer choices are A, 78 pi, B, 90 pi, C, 132 pi, and D, 360 pi. We haven't talked about the surface area of a cylinder yet, but let's see if you can figure it out. Use all the information we talked about in this lesson and you should be in good shape. Okay, ready, set, pause. How was that? Were you able to work through the surface area using the other information we covered? Let's work through this problem together and make sure we get the same answer. First, we'll underline the fact, circle the key words, and label the answer choices. This question doesn't provide a picture, so let's draw one for ourselves. We're looking to find the surface area. That means we're looking for the area of the base of the cylinder, the area of the top of the cylinder, and the area of the rectangular face of the cylinder. If we add these three areas, we'll get the surface area. So let's figure out a formula. The area of the base is pi r squared, and the area of the top is also pi r squared. And as we learned earlier in the lesson, the area of the rectangular face is 2 pi r times the height. Look at that, we have our formula. Now let's plug some info into it. The question tells us that the diameter is 6. That means the radius is 3. So let's fill that into our formula. The question also tells us that the height is 10. So let's write that in. Now we just need to do a little math. 3 squared is 9. So we have 9 pi plus 9 pi plus 2 pi times 3 times 10. 2 pi times 3 gives us 6 pi. And then we multiply by 10 to get 60 pi. 
and we get 9 pi plus 9 pi plus 60 pi, which is 78 pi. So give yourself a round of applause right after you circle answer choice A. This lesson definitely leaves you with some formulas to practice and remember. But don't worry, as I'm sure you've learned by now, the more you study and practice, the more the material will make sense to you. So grab your calculator and pencil, which is really just a cylinder with a cone attached, and get to work.